precise cause of schizophrenia is not exactly known, but uh, we're virtually certain uh, it has to do with the disturbance in the brain, or particularly the brain's development, that uh, plants certain weaknesses in the brain that can potentially malfunction later in life when a person is going through the adolescent maturational process. Also, there's very, very good evidence that the um, causes of these abnormalities or malfunctions in brain development are related to genetic factors. We know schizophrenia runs in families, but it's different than other things that may run in families like being rich or poor or having good table manners or not, or you know, having certain behavioral patterns that you learn in families. We know from a variety of different studies that it's genes that are producing this genetic effect and running in, causing it to run in families. So we think that there are a group of genes, not just one gene, but a group of genes that are contributing to the subtly abnormal development of the brain, which then during adolescence or young adulthood becomes overwhelmed by the demands made on the brain and begins to malfunction. And the malfunction involves specific uh, neural circuits. These are like computer circuits, but they're in the brain and involve one cell, one neuron connecting to another, and involve a dysregulation in the chemicals that enable this communication between uh, neurons in the brain. And these chemicals that are specifically implicated or specifically uh, dysregulated uh, are dopamine and glutamate. These are two chemicals and they're overactive in the brain and the medications we use are geared to try and regulate them to restabilize their uh, dysregulated activity. Mm -hmm.